Survivors of the East Area Rapist, also known as the Golden State Killer, face the man who terrorized them for decades. This is their moment. Let me take you inside. Do you feel any remorse for what you did to me? For once in your life, be a man. Look at her. Blindfolded me, tied me up, threatened my life with a knife, and raped me. Some people are wired wrong. I was stunned when I saw my mother bound, gagged. He sat in silence, mask on and eyes not looking at the survivors, the women and families he terrorized decades ago as the East Area Rapist, Golden State Killer. Strong words from one of the youngest victims, now a survivor and one who does not shy away from her story. It was a long time of silence and it, that silence is broken now, you know, forever. And it's it's amazing. It's very liberating. Linda Odell, another survivor, stood and faced D'Angelo next to longtime former investigator Carol Daly. Her emotions continued outside the courtroom. I'm not going to walk around in fear like this. I'm going to be careful, but I'm not going to let him take up any more time in my in my space. This is their moment, uninterrupted time to tell their abuser their story. The man who held them captive will soon be held captive on his own in prison for the crimes he pleaded guilty to. This is day one of the week long sentencing for D'Angelo. Tomorrow we will hear from more rape survivors in Northern California. On Thursday, we'll hear from the families of the murder victims that happened from Northern to Southern California. Then on Friday, D'Angelo is expected to be sentenced to life in prison. Stay with us on ABC 10 on air and online for updates.